think it is Manchester City won, Manchester United won, but Manchester United winning the community shield for today's game after a penalty shootout and based from Jaden Sancho and also Johnny Evans, which cost us the, the penalty shootouts and Manchester United losing another opportunity for Sancho to just step up and then you know rectify the situation that happened to him for England in the Euro 2021 at Wembley Stadium. But no, Sancho box up. Yeah, I'm not gonna put I'm not gonna make him the scapegoat because a lot of players as well, like certain man called Marcus Rashford, Trashford. <laughs> Who didn't step up to the plate today who let us down two occasions on two click cut chances man but congratulations to manchester city news for manchester united of course with additional transfers coming in on this day but manchester united with the opportunity to win silverware which just never happened and manchester united were the team guys that should have won this game you know two clear cut opportunities to just score and be up we should have won with the opportunities that we have but hell no 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 can't take our chances and it happens to be marcus rashford who couldn't take his chances the first half especially guys manchester united and man city of course manchester city controlling the ball controlling possession as expected cause no so but they never really tested out andre no no but manchester united having some chances clear cut chances i'm a dialogue Beautiful football at times, you know, with Casemiro feeding him in. And he decided, instead of opening up his body and finishing off his left foot, he decided to try and square it and nobody was there. A wonderful opportunity for Ahmed Diallo in the first half and never took it. Rashford as well had an opportunity as well where Casemiro found him too on the right hand, on the left hand flank where he could have open up his body and finish it. But guess what? Marcus Rashford making rash decisions as he always does and misses it. You know, horrible finishing, horrible decision making. And this is the guy that told you that his favorite hobby on Mamu TV is playing puzzles. You nigga can't solve shit. You can't solve a puzzle for shit to save your life. You're not even good at math because your decision making is not good. One plus one equals two, but you can't figure that out, Marcus Trashford. And I've had enough. Rashford out. He was piss poor. Second half, nil nil. Manchester United looked better, coming out stronger, making the changes. Ali Hanjo Ganacho affecting the game, then getting his goal. I think that was Bruno that um, gave him that pass, and, Bru and then Ali Hanjo Ganacho in the box of Man City going direct, going past man, and then taking the shot and scoring that goal. Viva Ganacho, it was. We was happy, one nil up. We was thinking, yeah, we got this in the bag. We can do this. And then Bernardo Silva himself ended up equalizing. Oscar Bob crossing the ball. The, um, Pelestri couldn't do shit. Bernardo Silva getting that header in and then it's making it 1 1 for Manchester United to go into penalty shootouts. Where Manchester United started off well with Anana saving uh, a penalty first, a the first exact penalty. And then Manchester United goes on from there. And then when it came to Sancho, Sancho with a third or fourth penalty. Ended up missing a, a save by Edison, then to ricochet off to hit the other bar. And then when it got to sh a penalty, um, sudden death, Evan stepped up and I just looked at his face and I just knew he was going to miss. And he ended up missing. Manchester United today, you know, you could have, we could have won a community show, but it wasn't meant to be. But there was some positive in terms of the way we went forward and connecting and attacking, some good set. Some good opportunities there, set pieces as well. A little bit of improvement in it. But overall, I just thought we should be able to retain the ball better. I would have loved to see Xerxes. Xerxes come in and do a thing, but he didn't. But Manchester United, it cost us. It cost us. Those opportunities that Marcus Rashford missed cost us. I'm not going to go on Sancho because it's not his fault. He came up a step to penalty and he ended up missing it. Yeah. You know, he wasn't able to fight those demons and beat those demons. He just wasn't able to do that. Player wise today, uh, Marcus Rashford. I'm out. I'm done. I've I've been done with Marcus Rashford for so long. I've checked out on him. This is me telling you guys we need to get rid of a player like that that can't make the, that decision. It's still at your big age. Your big age. You're a grown ass man and you're still making mistakes in decision makings. You can't finish for shit. 
Oh, and my manager tries so hard to try to build up his confidence, but just don't build that guy's confidence anymore. Please don't give him opportunities. Ahmed Diallo, who the one that had to come off for Rashford. Ahmed Diallo was killing mans. Ahmed Diallo, big up to him because he was my man of the match. Bruno Fernandes did well. Mason Mountain less running around by the end of the day. Ugh, ugh, ugh. ugh. came on and scored. Donkey of the match today, guys, has to go to Marcus Trashford. Nah, you need to get out my sight, man. Get out of the club, man. And uh, that man in the match, Ahmed Diallo. I couldn't believe this. Manager, Eric Tenog must be upset. Frustrated, because I would be. I would be. I just think the team could have done a little bit better. Controlling the ball, creating more chances. Especially when he was 1-0 up. Like, to lose the lead just like that. Being so open, especially from that attack from Manchester City. Can you say, guys, what can you say? We, we, we lost. We lost and we have to take it on chin. But it's all about next week, Friday, against Fulham. You know, I'm glad that Manchester United have struck up a deal for Delit to come in and Maserari to come in because it looks like Aaron wan is going to be going. So the, the transfers are coming in, but we still need more. We still need more during the week. Anyway, guys, this has been your match reaction. You guys let me know what your thoughts on today's game. Let me know who your man the match was. Let me know who your donkey of the match was. Is it Rashford just like mine? Let me know in the, your thoughts in the comments as well. Subscribe to Ready Night TV. Smash that like button and share across all social media platforms. We are back Monday, 8 p.m. UK time for the catch up with a man to discuss this and plenty more news. I'm sure we'll be discussing matches, the lit incoming and Mazawari. And check out for tomorrow's video as well for that transfer news as well, which will be done. By probably lunchtime or afternoon, whatever it is. But it's what it is, man. It's your boy Avro and Spice. I'm out. We we're not FA community show champions. But we move on. We move on. Peace.